Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at the care of areca palm in winters. This is a permanent plant that can stay alive for many years if given proper care. In summer, this plant grows really really well, however, in winter its growth becomes slow. Uh, this plant is very uh, well known palm, so you can find always find it uh, at your nearest nurseries and shops. This plant can be grown indoors as well as outdoors. And without areca palm, I would say that your garden is incomplete. So I would always recommend you to definitely grow this plant. It doesn't require a lot of sunlight, so you can keep it under a green net or in shade or in indirect light. This plant will go perfectly fine and be healthy because winter sunlight isn't that in intense. Uh, if we talk about the soil, then the, this plant really needs well drained soil or it will literally die as it doesn't like water that much and when not given uh, when not planted in well drained soil uh, the excess water tends to hold in the soil and causes root rot also check if you have grown it in a pot always check for a drainage hole at the bottom of the pot which is really really important if there isn't a drainage hole then always make one only water your plant, only water the soil uh, when it is dried. Two to three inches deep, you can all uh, two to three inches deep is uh, fine. So you can always check with your finger, push it uh, two to three inches deep in the soil, and if it is dry, then water your plant. And if it is uh, still wet, then don't water your plant, or it can cause root rot and can kill your plant. Uh, if we talk about the fertilizer. This plant doesn't require a lot of fertilizer. Once a month is enough for this plant. You can provide it a, with fertilizer in solid form, liquid form like NPK liquid fertilizer, cow dung, cow dung liquid fertilizer, any fertilizer is good for your plant but only once a month. Uh, I'm going to give you a tip about how to keep your plant uh, looking healthy. This tip is very important because a lot of people don't follow it. Always remove the leaves which you see is are turning yellow or brown uh, this is really important because a lot of people uh, leave their uh, leave their uh, leave their leaves turning yellow and brown which doesn't look uh, that pleasing and that beautiful so always remove the leaves which uh, which you see are turning yellow and brown because uh, it will eventually fall off and when under attack from fungicide always use neem oil, uh, neem oil spray at home if you want to uh, make at home or you can always buy any fungicide spray uh, from any your local market or nursery both will work fine so i guess that's all uh, about this plant its care is really easy so i would recommend you to uh, to plant this and grow this plant in your garden till then take care of yourself and your plant i'll see you guys in another video peace